If you've been following my blog for any amount of time, you probably saw that uh, Dave Ramsey thing where I really like Dave Ramsey. Listen to him all the time, have several of his books, but I really don't like his gold stance. And I must not be the only one because the other day I heard him say, y'all could write blogs about, you know, uh, the gold and, and all this all you want, but I stand by. So uh, apparently I'm not the only one. But, you know, uh, I, I do tend to agree with him that, you know, gold isn't really the best investment as a prepper. Uh, gold is used to hedge against inflation, okay? Uh, it doesn't make you money, it protects your money. But as a prepper, gold is on this tier, and I'm over here at this tier, because gold is used to buy the stuff in a disaster that you didn't buy pre-disaster, okay? Uh, and, and just like the $40 grain mill, you know, you get them on eBay now for 40 bucks, whatever. And, and then you order all the, the more expensive ones. But imagine if everybody had to all of a sudden start growing wheat in their, in their front yards, right? And they're having to uh, grind wheat in a can with some pipe and, you know, beat on it or between rocks or whatever. How much is that $40 grain mill going to be then? Okay? A um, lot better to buy things at pre-inflationary prices. Uh, it's called the alpha strategy. Uh, Rawls uh, really follows this strategy quite a bit. Um, of course, he's at a higher tier level uh, than, than the rest of us. But, uh, you know, gold is used for buying the things that you forgot or didn't buy at the time. If you're stocking, if you're buying gold, you probably could get a lot more bang for your buck by buying tangibles. And that's how I feel.